Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Underwood Baptist Church Young Adult Sunday School Class Daily Devotional for Saturday, December the 31st, 2022. While wow, last day of the year is already here, I can't believe it. It sure did fly by, at least it did for me. Anyway, uh, this morning I want to talk about uh, new beginnings. You know, I remember one of the things that uh, Brother James talked about whenever he uh, chose Monday as his uh, devotional day was it's the start of the work week, right? Um, and, you know, many things can be said about, you know, the beginning of a, of a month, the beginning of a week. Uh, and here we're now about to talk about the beginning of a new year. And a lot of times people make New Year's resolutions, right? Uh, and maybe by the second week of January or sooner, right? Sometimes. Um, and I'm not saying all the time, but sometimes uh, those resolutions have already gone by the wayside. Um, but I would suggest this, that maybe we make a new beginning in the Lord uh, this year. Um, and shoot, don't wait until the first of the year, you know, just do it now. Um, it's never too soon to make a new beginning with the Lord, um, to renew your uh, strength with Him and your relationship with Him. So, anyway, here's some verses to talk about new beginnings. The first one, 2 Corinthians 5.7, I'm, I'm sorry, 5.17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All thing, old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. So if you're not a child of God this morning, um, if you have any questions, you can reach out to anyone at the church, and we'll be happy to point you in the right direction, find somebody who will help you. I'll help you. There's lots of other people at our church, and we want to be glad to help you. Um, the next verse I have, uh, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. All right? Um, and what this is talking about here is, uh, you know, personal promise, right? God has promised a wonderful and perfect plan to me, for me. Um, you know, you can take this verse and apply it specifically to you, that God has your life, you know, perfectly mapped out. And that, you know, you only have to walk in obedience to God. Um, and then Isaiah 43, 18 through 19 Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall, so, it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Right? This is a writing to God's people during their captivity in Babylon. Um, Isaiah includes many prophecies, including several messianic prophecies about the coming Savior, Jesus, and their slash our ultimate deliverer right i mean if only if only they had believed when he came that he was the messiah right um and just imagine uh, how much more rejoicing uh, the jewish people would have done you know during that time had they known that that their messiah actually was going to come and did come and will come again well, that's all I have for you this morning. I hope that it, uh, it's been helpful. I hope you have a very wonderful, happy, and safe new year. And I'm going to close this out in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you so much for this time that we have to come and study a portion of your precious word. Father, we just come to you on the behalf of those that are hurting, those uh, with needs that we know not of, Lord, you do. And Father, anything that uh, that you can do to help them, Lord, and just uh, and that they would know that it came from you, Lord, and anything that you do, Lord, would that would just, uh, you would get all the honor and the glory for it. Lord, we just ask now that you just go with us in this new year, guide us, direct us, that we may draw ever closer to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great and wonderful new year, and we'll talk again soon.